So what I have here today are a bunch of nano figures that I bought from the store recently. Um, these particular ones, um, these little smaller ones, are somewhat exclusively sold to Walmart. I haven't seen them elsewhere. Um, this is like the second release of these. Um, so the new sets are WWE, uh, Street Fighter, and Disney. And I believe I have all the Disney ones that are out. They weren't that hard to find. Um, the wrestling ones, um, I didn't buy them all because they didn't look that great. But they do sell these in other stores. Um, there are, they're a little larger and they're ill-proportioned. These are more to scale with what the people look like or the size of the people. So they're not too ill-proportioned. So we'll start off with the first ones I have, which we're going to do is WWE. So this is John Cena. I thought this one looked pretty decent. Main issue I'm having with uh, buying these is the face is kind of weird on a, on a lot of them. Especially if they're, mainly if they're based on real people. Like the Disney ones look pretty decent. And uh, I probably won't pick up all the WWE ones. Um, here's a list of all of them you can get. Probably only get like the big stars like Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And... Uh, I saw Chris Jericho, that one the face was melted looking, might get Brock Lesnar, let's see. Just the ones I've heard of, uh, I haven't really watched wrestling in a while because it flipped to three hours and I lost track of everything, I stopped watching it. But anyways, uh, we'll open the first one. By the way, this is made by Jada Toys, who also makes a brand of diecast. Um, So here's John Cena. Get a closer look. It's got a nice paint to it. No gloss. More like a matte, I guess. His, his attire changes so often. And yeah, the paint on the back. A little messed up there. It's got a... Looked like he got whipped. Yeah. That's common with these, probably. Uh, that... You'll find bad paint and stuff. Cause these are made to be cheap, so they probably keep the quality down a little bit. So this is Triple H. Um, this is like a more modern one because he used to have long hair. Hope they release like a retro one with the long hair. Open him. There we go. So one of his common routines is that he'll drink a bottle or sip a bottle of water and spit out in the air um, which is probably the stance that he's doing now uh, like I said the head's a little weird weirdly melted looking yeah, it's a little out of focus I can't seem to focus oh there we go have his uh, pads and stuff and next we got Sting I don't think he wrestled in WWE really. I think he did one match and then he uh, he got hurt and then he couldn't wrestle anymore or something like that. So pull him out. So he has a prop in this one. He has a, a baseball bat. He has like a, a glossier finish. Looks real cool. The makeup looks pretty good. Here's his bat. And he's got a long uh, trench coat. That's pretty cool. The next one is The Undertaker. Who I heard is retired. Now, or semi-retired, whatever they call it. He wasn't really wrestling that much in recent years anyway. He appeared at pay-per-views and stuff. So here he is. He's got a goatee and facial hair and stuff. Let's see. Eyes look a little weird. A little cartoonish. There's his hand and stuff. Okay, next one is Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, he died like a few years ago. A little bit of knowledge about him. And I uh, don't recall seeing any matches with him in it. I remember he did a rap album, which I listened to a little bit once. You can find that on YouTube. 
Oh, he looks cartoonish in this one. Okay, and I think I got one more, and that's The Rock. A lot of people know The Rock. Um, his That's his stage name, The Rock. His real name is Dwayne Johnson, or sometimes he's referred to as Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And you got his tattoos. So this is more of a modern day rock. At least the last time he was in the ring. Still pretty cool. He has his ab muscles detailed on there. Got some... Looked a little bad on the paint, but it still looks pretty decent. And that's it with the wrestling ones. Next one is this Disney Pixar one. So these are your Pixar characters. Um, you can get these in a 5-pack or this 10-pack, but the 10-pack, supposedly this one is an exclusive figure, but I have already found that in the singles. So let's see, we'll take a look at the, the front on this package. Because on the back, it shows what you can get, and here's that 5-pack. Now these, I believe you can get single by themselves. Um, and, well, I'm pretty sure most of these are singles. You can get it as singles. Now, I did buy these packs at first. Then I returned them when I found this, and I found everything loose in the singles. So, we'll take a look at this one. So, we'll start off with the first of the uh, Pixar figures. We got Mr. Incredible from the Incredibles movie. Um, I really like the red shiny paint on here. And it looks real good compared to uh, the actual cartoon. Um, it seems like whenever they do cartoons in these figures, they tend to be a little more spot on. Practically any uh, minifigures like that, they're usually pretty spot on. There you go. Um, it looks pretty good. Not a whole lot of uh, flaws in it. Um, next we have is Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story and it looks a little weird his head does uh, everything else looks okay those buttons would normally be a you know multicolored I think red blue maybe green back looks pretty cool cool um, next is Sully from Monsters Inc um, this figure I think looked a little more cartoonish than uh, than the original uh, movie still looks pretty decent and you would notice who it is if you've seen the movie right away you know you'll say even if it looks a little off um, next is his buddy Mike Wazowski also from Monster Inc. movie this one looks pretty good compared to the movie So I assume they'll continue making some more Monsters, Inc. They'll uh, make Boo. I'm assuming. I don't have any information on that. Um, next is the Disney, regular Disney stuff. We got Mickey Mouse. Now hopefully they'll release different versions of him, like the old black and white version. You know, the one that started the whole Disney thing. Pretty cool. Uh, next is his girlfriend, or whatever you want to call her, Minnie Mouse. Okay, next we got Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I'm not sure if they'll make, like, animals and stuff. She had a pet cat. Maybe they'll, uh, put him on, like, a tree, or... I think she fell in a tree, so buy a tree and then maybe they'll make the Cheshire cat as well uh, next we got is Kermit the frog um, he's been in a lot of stuff uh, Muppet show and that more recent Muppet show that came out uh, let's see give him a spin and some movies and then I think Sesame Street you appears on not sure anymore, but you know, I haven't watched Sesame Street in like maybe 20 years, over 20 years. Because I have no reason to watch it now. It's mainly for kids, even though it's made by adults. 
Um, next is Baymax from uh, Big Hero 6, I think it was called. He was pretty heavy, even though in the movie he was like a, a balloon or something like that. He was inflated. He got a little bump on his chest. I think that meant something in the movie. I don't remember. Uh, you got some gray, oops, elbow areas. It's pretty cool. Um, this one probably was easy to paint. Because it's mostly white with a little bit of gray. Uh, next is Animal, also from the Muppets. Pretty cool. He's got a chain around his neck. He's also in a band. Uh, can't remember the band name, what they called it. Electric Mayhem, I believe it's called. Okay, the next set. Well, actually, same set though. Disney. And uh, Pixar, we got Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, and other Lilo and Stitch stuff. Um, well, here's the checklist. As you can see, I got everything. So, open it. Little blue figure. He's like a, he is an alien experiment. Um, there's a, there was a TV show and I believe two movies or so. It was a pretty popular movie, I believe, since it did spawn a TV show. Used to watch them back in the day. I believe in the early 2000s. And the paint, I'm not sure if that paint's spot on or not. Looks a little glittery. And a little blue on there. Um, I think he did have spots on him somewhere. Pretty decent. And the last one from the Disney Pixar series is uh, Woody. Uh, let's see. We'll open him up. And uh, there we go. Got his arms crossed and everything. Give it a spin. Um, he's a pull cord toy, so that's what that is. This pull cord, rip cord. Probably a pull cord because a rip cord, I think, just pulls right off. Um. Next, I got Fantastic Beasts. I didn't really buy this. I wasn't interested in first at first, so I didn't buy it. And then later on, I thought, what the heck, I'll buy them. Um, it's from the Harry Potter series and stuff. Newt Scamander. Scamander. Uh, let's see. There are three figures from that series, and I got at least two of them. Um, I'm not sure if it's, any of these are that hard to find, but I think they were out at the stores for some of these. Open it. He's got his briefcase full of uh, monsters and stuff. Magic animals. Yeah, he's got weird ass eyes. Looks real cartoony. Next one is Tina Goldstein, also from Fantastic Beasts. Open her up. I only seen this movie once so far, and I rented it again. I'm gonna see it, hopefully this weekend or so. Cause sometimes if you watch a movie once, it's not as good, and then when you watch it later, it's a, uh, it's pretty good. Always give, always give stuff like movies a second chance. If you don't like it the first time, chances are you may like it the second time, or maybe not. It's always good to watch them again. Um, next is Green Lantern, which I think I skipped somewhere when I first got it. Open him up. Because, you know, when these first came up, I wanted to buy everything. Then I decided, why should I buy everything when half the stuff is kind of junky looking? So here he is. Um, the Green Lantern I remember was a, a black guy. Um, he was on the show Justice League. I always thought he was black, but like it, in the movie, he was white. Um, I think his name was Ryan Reynolds that played the guy. The guy that played Deadpool played Green Lantern. So he was in two different um, comics companies, whatever, Marvel and DC movies. And uh, another guy, Ben Affleck, he played uh, the 
blind guy. I can't remember it. Uh, I forgot what his name is. But I remember the movie, and I think it bombed. But he also played Batman. Uh, can't think of that movie right now. But anyways, I'll show these figures, gather them all up. Let's see here. And that's uh, pretty much about it. Um, so if you want these, they're 97 cents or a little more if you buy the 10 pack. Obviously, it's going to cost a little more. But it may be a little slightly cheaper, and maybe not. Um, but 97 cents seems to be the price, and they're only sold at Walmart, unless you want the bigger figures, which they're sold at most toy stores. I know Toys R Us has them, Target has the big ones as well, and I think they have like two, uh, three set type of figures. They got, um, these small ones, uh, little bigger ones, and some huge ones, and they're all made out of metal, which is something weird, because... You, you would think these are made out of plastic and they might be made to compete with the uh, minifigure market like uh, pop vinyls which are kind of not really that great compared to stuff like this in action figures anyways here they are again okay and you can find these in the store uh, you can also get Street Fighters which is based on a video game I believe uh, never really looked into that uh, series, um, because I didn't really care much for them, but, uh, anyways, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.